Ожидаем изменения в формат... Standing by for format change. GNC. Uh, GNC uh, format. Uh, copy. Скорость нулевая. Range rate is zero. Данность 209.3. Here in the uh, flight control room in Houston, the visiting vehicle officer, Brian Lohman, reports uh, to flight director Jerry Jason that the fourth in a series of closing maneuver burns, or CM burns, uh, is now complete, and uh, we have arrived at the S3 hold point. Once again, uh, this is the point at which uh, the flight control team in Toulouse uh, at the ATV Control Center will be sending commands uh, to maneuver the Albert Einstein into an orientation uh, so that uh, its uh, forward docking probe and uh, its solar arrays are facing the aft docking port of the Zvezda service module uh, to begin the process of uh, locking on uh, to navigational aids on the aft end of Zvezda uh, to make sure that uh, all of that uh, equipment is working before we press in inside the S3 hold point. Uh, we're currently about 817 feet away from Zvezda. Uh, open mic. Oh, I'm sorry. It was hot mic. I didn't mean it for you to hear. If everything is uh, proceeding on track, once uh, the ATV completes its uh, orientation maneuver, uh, we would expect uh, a period of several minutes uh, before receiving uh, the first reports on the uh, activity uh, between the reflectors on the aft end of the service module uh, locking on to the uh, navigational sensors, these videometers and telegoniometers on the forward end of the automated transfer vehicle. Copy. Again, this view uh, of the Albert Einstein from uh, a camera on the outside of the Zvezda service module, which is the uh, docking port of choice for the uh, automated transfer vehicle, the only port, in fact, it can dock to automatically using a comparable docking system as uh, is employed for Soyuz and Progress craft that dock to uh, various Russian ports on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. On board, uh, the uh, crew working on this Saturday as uh, Luca Parmitano of the European Space Agency and Alexander Mazurkin, a Russian cosmonaut, uh, monitor a, uh, the data on a control panel inside the Zvezda service module. They uh, have the ability, if required, to issue a, an escape a command, a, an abort command, uh, to the automated transfer vehicle up until a point about six feet of distance uh, between the two craft, should that become necessary. However, uh, all of the ATV systems are currently functioning normally as we uh, continue to stand by uh, for the uh, flight control team in Toulouse to update its, uh, compu uh, its computers uh, and to send uh, updated navigational information to the ATV for the final phase of this rendezvous. He can copy you. All right, there is a request to activate recording. 
Okay. In work. Copy. Thank you. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, growing larger in the field of view and loaded with more than seven tons of supplies for the Expedition 36 crew on the International Space Station. The Albert Einstein automated transfer vehicle now just 105 meters away from its destination, the aft docking port of the Zvezda service module. After spending about an extra 20 minutes of station keeping than had been originally scheduled uh, at the S3 hold point, 817 feet away from uh, the International Space Station's Russian segment, uh, the approval was given and the commands were issued by the ATV Control Center in Toulouse, France to resume the approach of the Albert Einstein toward the next interim waypoint or station keeping point called the S4 uh, hold point uh, that uh, the ATV will arrive at here shortly. On, and we are watching the image on the central post SSC. The uh, S-4 hold point uh, is just 62 feet uh, away from the docking uh, port at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. At that point, uh, the ATV will be commanded to put the brakes on and hold for a period of about 13 minutes to enable uh, the flight control team in Toulouse and uh, the Russian flight control team in Koryov uh, outside of Moscow uh, to evaluate all of their respective systems before pressing in uh, to the final major uh, station keeping point that is called the S-41 hold point at a distance of just 36 feet away. Based on the, uh, the few extra minutes of station keeping time uh, that was required uh, to update the ATV's computers at the S-3 hold point, we're estimating a docking time of about 9.07 a.m. Central Time, 10.07 a.m. Eastern Time. Station Moscow regarding ATV. Go ahead. A request, please report on the system status and the parameters of relative motion. And after 100 meters, please use the ruler to measure the uh, range. It's in work. Systems are nominal. ATV is in the middle of the corridor. 0 0.14 and closing. Uh, Range rate 70 meters by the ruler. Copy all. It matches the data of the videometer. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, just uh, 70 meters separating the Albert Einstein and its uh, destination at the aft end of the service module. Uh, docking time is uh, estimated at uh, 9.07 a.m. Central Time, 10.07 Eastern Time. About an additional uh, 20 minutes required at the S3 uh, station keeping point uh, to update uh, the onboard computers after an extensive analysis of the navigational data that was uh, retrieved uh, from the lock-on and the communications between uh, the sensors at the forward end of the Albert Einstein and the uh, retro reflectors at the aft end of the Zvezda service module that were the subject of uh, much uh, discussion over the past seven weeks following the docking of the Russian ISS Progress 51 cargo ship. Those reflectors apparently in good shape, providing the appropriate data uh, to update the computers uh, 
on the, the Albert Einstein itself and uh, its navigational sensors, everything in good shape as uh, the ATV closes in for its docking to the aft port of the service module. What this also means is that uh, there uh, will not be a, a need for any updates to the timeline and the tasks for a Russian spacewalk that is scheduled a week from Monday on June 24th by Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin as they um, make their way outside of the pier's docking compartment for a six-hour spacewalk uh, to uh, replace a fluid flow valve on the Zarya module and uh, to uh, begin the process of stringing equipment and uh, installing uh, other uh, tools and equipment that will be associated uh, with the arrival of the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module at the end of the year, a huge Russian laboratory docking port and airlock that will be launched atop a proton rocket to replace the pier's docking compartment on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Check format 7, and you have a blinking box. Please, Go, do not send anything from BKU symbol. We're just inside 10 minutes uh, from the arrival of the uh, ATV at its next station keeping point, the S-4 station keeping point uh, that will place uh, the Albert Einstein just 62 feet away from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. ATV systems are nominal. Zero decimal zero eight and close it. Narrow angle. One degree up and one degree to the left from the center uh, across here. Five zero meters by uh, by the ruler. Matches with the videometer. Copy. Good view of the forward end of the Albert Einstein. You clearly can see the docking probe uh, that was extended a few days ago uh, during uh, the uh, rendezvous. A time frame for the ATV as it approached uh, the final phase of its uh, journey from the launch pad in Karoo, French Guiana to this point. And you can see uh, the flashing lights at the bottom of the videometer equipment uh, that is locked on to the uh, reflectors on the aft end of the Zvezda service module providing updates to navigational information. Uh, the range, uh, the distance basically between the ATV and Zvezda and the rate of closure, which at the moment uh, is about eight one hundredths of a meter per second. Visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports 48 meters uh, distance between the ATV and Zvezda. A good closing rate. Everything is uh, proceeding on track as the two uh, spacecraft, the ATV and the International Space Station, fly 258 statute miles over Central Africa. Range, actually, range rate 0 0.06 and closing. ATV is uh, still one degree to the left and one up uh, in uh, across uh, relative to the cross here. And we're using narrow angle. Copy. Reports uh, now coming in that we're uh, about to transition from uh, all of the reflectors providing uh, navigational data to the ATV's computers to the one set of short-range laser retro reflectors on the aft end of the Zvezda service module. Again, everything uh, proceeding in good shape. Navigational data is solid, and uh, the ATV is uh, uh, inching along uh, towards its final destination. Uh, with an expected uh, docking time now at around 9.07 a.m. Central Time, 10.07 a.m. Eastern Time. 0 0.05 on closing. ATV is off one degree to the left, one up relative 
to the uh, central electronic crosshair, and the motion is smooth and stable. Copy. And uh, the Albert Einstein has now transitioned uh, to a single reflector set of data. That means uh, it is locked on now to the short range or laser retro reflector set uh, located on the aft end of the Zvezda service module. All of those reflectors performing normally. Space Station and the ATV are flying 258 miles over central Kazakhstan, not far from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, uh, from which uh, the Russian uh, Soyuz and Progress vehicles are launched. Flying almost directly over Soyuz landing sites uh, in both the uh, northern and southern zones of Kazakhstan. Uh, Station Moscow, regarding ATV. Go ahead. Uh, proceed with monitoring the system status and the parameters of the relative motion. By the ruler, currently we're at 19.19 meters. ATV systems are nominal. GNC switch to S4 station keeping. Course shows zero range rate. Yes, sir. And the Albert Einstein uh, now uh, reinitiates its approach. We have departed the S4 station keeping point. This will be about a two and a half minute transit uh, to the next station keeping point called S41 at a distance of about 11 meters or 36 feet away from the docking target at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. All of the uh, Albert Einstein systems are functioning in great shape. No issues whatsoever with any of the reflector navigational aids on the aft end of the Zvezda service module that were the subject of much discussion over the past seven weeks. They have been rock, set, uh, rock solid, uh, providing excellent uh, navigational data uh, to the Albert Einstein as it uh, has initiated its final approach. One more station keeping point uh, to negotiate, that being at S41 or a distance of 36 feet uh, between Albert Einstein and the International Space Station. Changed. ATV target lights to mid medium. Copy. Zero point zero seven and closing less than fourteen meters. Zero point zero. Perfect uh, range uh, for the Albert Einstein. Good uh, rate of closure to the docking target. Uh, once uh, Albert Einstein arrives at this uh, final. The station keeping point at S41, just 36 feet away. Uh, we will be uh, in a station keeping position for about five minutes before the final go is given uh, to close in for docking. Standing by for station keeping at 11 meters. The rule already shows 11 meters. Uh, 06. And closing. Copy. Uh, we confirm the range rate decrease. To zero two. Copy. Course shows zero. And we are at the S41 hold point. Of the corridor and the ruler shows less than 11 meters. Albert Einstein has put the brakes on one more time at a distance of 36 feet away.
Over the next uh, few minutes, uh, the flight control teams will take a final poll of their respective flight controllers to get a final go for docking. Uh, from this point on, once uh, the ATV departs the S-41 hold point, the next uh, critical juncture will be at the ground hands-off point at a distance of 9.8 feet, separating the uh, service module and uh, the Albert Einstein uh, automated transfer vehicle. That ground hands-off point is the last point at which uh, ground controllers can issue a command to the ATV to abort its approach. We confirm, thank you. Final systems checks of the Albert Einstein are underway, and the Russian flight control team uh, conducting wait. final checks of the docking port at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. You're looking at a view of the uh, cavernous uh, flight control room at uh, the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside Moscow, uh, where the Russian flight controllers are monitoring Russian segment systems, uh, continuing uh, to ensure and uh, be in contact with uh, their counterparts at the uh, ATV control center in Toulouse, France, that everything is in order uh, to resume final approach for docking. Systems are nominal, range rate zero. The target is still at the center of the corridor. Uh, I have a visual of the target. It's stable in the center of the corridor, and I confirm that range rate is zero. Copy. I don't know about you, but I am feeling quite a storm here. Here in the uh, flight control room at the Johnson Space Center, you can see uh, the clock uh, ticking backwards toward uh, the final departure of uh, the Albert Einstein from its last station keeping point called the S-41 hold point. ATV uh, flight controllers in Toulouse, France, uh, syncing up one more time with the Russian flight control team in Korolyov. Range rate is zero, stable. The range is still 11 meters. Also stable copy. Do you have the image? All the flight control teams now uh, in Houston, in Toulouse, in Karlyov, everyone is go for docking. We're standing by for the resumption of final approach. When do we plan to start leaving 11 meters? Papa Vladimirovich, uh, the time has been slightly shifted to the right, so we cannot give you the exact time. We're doing it now on MCC GO, and so far we haven't been given the exact time. Okay, copy. Standing by for a go. And go for a go. And there will be no GNC mode change. You will stay with final approach two. Copy. Standing by for a go and monitor the range rate increase. It's 0 0.05, copy. It's all nominal, very good. Target is in the center of the corridor. We confirm motion and the 0 0.06 and closing. 
meters. Rula shows nine meters. And Albert Einstein now on the final leg of its journey, uh, moving inside the S-41 uh, station keeping point. The next uh, critical point will be at 9.8 feet uh, distance uh, to the docking target. That is the ground hands-off point, the last point at which the ground can issue any commands to the Albert Einstein automated transfer vehicle. Target is in the center, 0 0.06, all systems nominal, copy all. Six meters by the range ruler, 0 0.06, target is in the center of the corridor, systems are nominal, copy all. Inside six meters now, rate of closure less than one-tenth of a meter per second. Target in the center, systems nominal, 0 0.06 and closing, copy. Four meters, target in the center, 0 0.07, systems nominal, copy, copy all. Approaching the ground hands-off point. Three meters by the ruler. Target in the center, point zero six and closing. Systems nominal, copy. Copy. At two. Ground is hands-off now. Meters uh, start breaking, copy. Two meters, point seven. Systems nominal, target in the center. Point five meters, point six. Approaching the crew hands-off point. Systems nominal. One meter away. Standing by for contact and capture. Confirmed. Docking confirmed. Capture confirmed. Copy. Mode station mode change free drift. Docking occurring at 9:07 a.m. Central Time, as the International Space Station and Albert Einstein flew 258 statute miles over the Pacific Ocean. You know the contact was softer than with the progress. The International Space Station in free drift, uh, all thrusters disabled uh, to enable the relative motion between Albert Einstein and the station to dampen out uh, to, for the initiation of the closing of the hooks. So a 10-day journey from South America to the space station now complete. The Albert Einstein is linked up to the aft port of the Zvezda service module after a flawless rendezvous with docking occurring at 9.07 a.m. Central Time. We are monitoring Elpa shot change on the laptop, no decrease. Copy the value is 3511 and 369 are for the second pressure. That's in millimeters of mercury. Copy.
Once again, uh, we're waiting uh, for the relative motion of the uh, automated transfer vehicle and the International Space Station to uh, dampen out. Uh, this will enable the initiation of the closing of the hooks uh, between the Albert Einstein and the Zvezda service module to form a hard uh, mate uh, between the two craft. The uh, hatch to the automated transfer vehicle is not scheduled to be opened until Monday with uh, the actual removal of cargo expected to begin on Tuesday. The uh, rendezvous uh, went uh, by the book. A few extra minutes required at one of the station keeping points to update uh, the Albert Einstein's computers, but uh, everything went uh, according uh, to schedule. All of the navigational aids on both uh, the Albert Einstein and, most notably, on the aft port of the Zvezda service module functioned as advertised to provide the correct navigational data to update the computers uh, on the Albert Einstein for its final approach leading to its docking at 9.07 a.m. Central Time. And the event window current uh, active recording of the docking uh, initiation. Copy. Flight controllers at the uh, ATV control center in Toulouse and uh, the Russian flight control team in Korolev outside Moscow uh, running through their post-docking checklists right now as we stand by for confirmation of uh, the closure of the hooks uh, to form a hard mate uh, between uh, the Albert Einstein automated transfer vehicle and uh, the Zvezda service module. Yes, DKR. DKR confirmed. Copy. LPSH shows 78 millimeters. Copy. The uh, visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports uh, that the two docking interfaces are now perfectly aligned and the hooks are now driving. Compression confirmed. Copy. Interface compressed. Closed, confirmed. And now uh, we can confirm the hooks are closed, uh, forming a hard mate between the Albert Einstein automated transfer vehicle and uh, the Zvezda service module on the Russian segment 
of the International Space Station. You're now looking at the current configuration of uh, the International Space Station with the arrival of the ATV-4, the next to last of the European Space Agency's large cargo ships 